And joining us for the first ever time, yes, folks, uh, the past year and a half here on the MNCAA podcast, we've had five of the six teams covered. We finally have a permanent residence to cover our sixth team in Division One. That is the Bemidji State Beavers. And to do that, we have welcomed in Christian Babcock. Christian, welcome to have you on the show. Thanks for being with us. Bemidji State, as you, I'm sure, have watched, Christian, are kind of this team where they're good and then on another night, maybe not so good. It, it, they're kind of a seesaw. Am I am I onto something there, or, or what have you seen from the Beavers so far? I would agree that the results have been somewhat of a seesaw. One thing that they've done consistently this year is get a lot of shots up, which they did not always do last year, and that's been something they've talked about has been more or less what they've been looking for for the team. So like you mentioned, they're at 600, which they could be better. I feel like they've had a good start to the season. They've probably exceeded my expectations. I think they've probably even exceeded Coach Tom Sertori's expectations in certain facets. So they'll have a run of opponents in the CCHA that they all could beat and they all could lose to. And it's interesting because you have kind of a, shall we say, a dichotomy there because Tom Sertori's system lay back and be a defensive-minded team first and then sort of be opportunistic on offense. But what you're telling me is they recognize that if for them to be successful, they need to generate more offense organically. And it seemed to be doing that so far this season. Is, is that what I'm hearing? Yeah, I would agree with that. I think they've been pretty happy with how their defense has played, but they've had a lot of offensive zone time, which sometimes offense can be the best defense, as, as yes. silly as that can sound. But the more shots they get up, it hasn't always led to goals, which is something they've talked about trying to finish. But when it does, I mean, they beat St. Cloud. They, they have a high ceiling, but they're a young team and they've been somewhat inconsistent. So it'll just be a matter of how much they can put it together over a stretch. And they have plenty of games to figure it out. So we'll see how it all kind of comes together for them. 